paranormal, paranormal, paranormal. What is up everybody? As you know, I am a paranormal enthusiast, so I wanted to bring something ghostly for the Halloween spirit. I actually made this video a couple years ago when I first got my Mac to try it out, try the settings, and new episode coming out here in a couple days, but I just wanted to get this out so you had something for Halloween. So in the comments below, please tell me a, an experience, a paranormal experience you've had, anything ghostly, whether you believe it or not, if you don't, anything. Just leave, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Here we go. Top 10 ghostly sightings. Number 10. The backseat driver. On March 22, 1959, Jim Chinnery, accompanied by his wife Mabel, went to a local Ipswich area cemetery. Mabel, on an early spring day, wanted to photograph her mother's tombstone and with one picture left on the roll, decided to photograph Jim as he waited for her in the car. Upon receiving the film developed at their local drugstore, they were shocked to reveal her mother sitting in the car behind her husband. The negative of this photo has been examined for decades with no explanation or evidence of tampering. The only minute answer for this anomaly is the possible trick of light effect from the multiple sources being reflected from the windows in the car would show her scarf following the line in the back of the vehicle. You decide. Go on, Number 9. The Bone Yard Walker. Not much can be said about this clip except that it is from a surveillance camera in a Guatemalan cemetery. The grainy and poor quality video shows what appears to be a white apparition walking between the gravestones in the top left corner of the screen. The interesting part about this video to me is that it seems to disappear into nothing right before it would have vanished behind the Number 8. The Haunted House. Ghost. This photo was received from Miss Russell. Russell. The lady in the color photo is her grandmother. She lived on her own until age 94, when her mind started to weaken and had to be moved to an assisted living home for her own safety. At the end of the first week, there was a picnic for the residents and their families. Her mother and sister attended. Her sister took two pictures that day, and this is one of them. It was taken on Sunday, August 17th, 1997. The man behind her is her grandpa, who passed away on Sunday. August 14th, 1984. 15 years prior. Number 7. In this little known footage of a fatal car wreck in central Spain, it is said that there was one fatality and two injured. It appears that at the bottom of the screen when they are towing the vehicle on the tow truck that a translucent adult figure is walking across the road. With so little known about this footage and with technology as advanced as it currently is, could this be real or is it just another elaborate hoax? What's this? Can we see it again please now? Okay. Number 6. The Brown Lady. According to the legend, the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall is the ghost of Lady Townshend, who is married to Charles Townshend, who is a man known for his fiery temper. When he learned of his wife's infidelity, he punished her by imprisoning her in the family estate at Raynham Hall, which is located in Norfolk, England. He never allowed her to leave and she remained there until her death when she had become an old lady. She has been spotted there now for centuries with one of the most credible occurrences happening in the early 19th century when King George IV saw a lady with a brown dress standing next to the foot of his bed with a pale complexion and disheveled hair. In September of 1936, two photographers, Captain Pravon and Andre Shira were on an assignment at Raynham Hall for the magazine Country Life. The image is widely believed to be one of the best and most convincing of all known photographs of ghosts. Number five, the ghosts of Gettysburg. Tom Underwood was visiting the Gettysburg battlefield in 2001 with his family when he recorded this video at Triangular Field. It is considered by many to be perhaps the best, most compelling ghost video ever recorded. It appears to show semi-transparent figures walking through the woods. They seem to be walking uphill, even through the land that is currently flat. Some think the figures look like soldiers in gray confederate uniforms. 
It has been noted that the actions of the figures seem to repeat themselves, indicating that this may be a residual haunting, a kind of recording on the environment. A residual haunting is not caused by a spirit of someone's soul, but is a recording from the past that somehow replays itself. While some residual hauntings can be traumatic, they pose no harm at all. There is no thought, no logic, no recognition on the part of the apparition. It is not aware you are there, nor is it aware of its surroundings. The replayed energy can manifest itself as auditory, visual, or other sensory phenomena. Number four, Madonna of Bachelor's Grove. This photo was taken during an investigation of Bachelors Grove Cemetery near Chicago by the Ghost Research Society on August 10, 1991. Several members of the GRS were at the cemetery, a small, abandoned graveyard on the edge of the Rubio Woods Forest Preserve near the suburb of Midlothian, Illinois, one of the most haunted cemeteries in the United States. Bachelors Grove has been the site of well over 100 different reports of strange phenomena including apparitions, unexplained sights and sounds, and even glowing balls of light. G GRS member Marie Huff was taking black and white photos with a high-speed infrared camera in the area where the group had experienced some anomalies with their ghost hunting equipment. The cemetery was empty, except for the GRS members. When developed, this image emerged. What looks like a lonely-looking young woman dressed in white sitting on a tombstone. Parts of her body are partially transparent and the style of dress seems to be out of date. Blockbuster Ghost. In this video from a security camera set up at a Blockbuster video in Mexico, it shows an employee working after hours and stocking the store with its inventory. This location in particular was rumored by many of the employees that strange things had been happening in the past, especially at night. These occurrences included touching on the back of the neck, blows of breath into ears, and flickering of lights for no apparent reason. This video could have easily been staged in my opinion because it shows only one angle and multiple access points for people or devices to push the movies off the shelf as well as the cart not being fully in frame when it is abruptly pushed. The thing that makes this clip believable to me is why would anyone go through this much trouble to either fool this employee into running away in fear or even creating the hoax in the first place at such a random and irregular paranormal location. Either way, we will never know, but the video is nonetheless creepy and very funny to watch. a photo was taken of Sir Victor Goddard's squadron who served in World War I. The picture was first published in 1975 by Goddard who was a retired RAF officer. In back of the airman position on the top row fourth from the left can clearly be seen the face of another man. It is said to be the face of Freddie Jackson, an air mechanic who had been accidentally killed by an airplane propeller two days earlier. His funeral had taken place on the day this photograph was snapped. Members of the squadron easily recognized the face of Jackson's. It has been suggested that Jackson, unaware of his death, decided to show up for the group photo. There's something here. Open the door up. Oh, no way. Oh, no That's way. exactly what I'm saying, dude. Oh, no way. There is something here. There is no wind right now. Number one. Room 209. This video is rumored to come from the security camera footage of a September 14, 2003 paranormal event at Wingate Hotel in Illinois. The report is that screaming was heard from room 209 and when the security guard John went to check on the matter, the carpet was ripped up, shower was on, furniture was turned upside down, but nobody was in sight.
Hey, you ever take slices of pizza for payment? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm running a little low on the cashish. Thank you. <laughs>